We were in a domestic violence um, situation. He had PTSD and other problems, and he, the violence became too... Um, Unbearable? Yeah. I feel, you know, we were better off, you know, homeless than going through that. Basically, it was just a real long process, but by 2013, we were homeless. We were um, staying in the truck. Uh, we we uh, didn't have any place to go. We, we were scared at night. Um, we go to a park in the parking lot and just sit there. I was so so worried and afraid. Which still was better, but, uh, you know, it could have been a lot, you know, better than it was. And I, I felt as long as we were together, we could pull through. So she said, I found a place called Family Promise in Irving. And she said, would you be interested in, in going there? And she gave me the address and we were on our way. I'll never forget the relief. I don't think there's any good adjective to you know, put to the experience. I slept like a baby. <laughs> Everybody has a different story. Uh, there's some common themes, but you know everybody's personal stories are different. The host churches provide a private space in their building for each family, and that could be a Sunday school room that they take out the Sunday school stuff and put in our rollaway beds and lamps and rugs. So it is a home-like environment for their families. Volunteers from that church provide the nighttime meal, hot meal, and hang out with the uh, the families and do homework or crafts or just. Uh, uh, interact with the families. It wasn't just having a bed. Um, the churches, the people, um, they they went out of their way for us as if we were their family mm -hmm. and they had just welcomed us home. You kind of got years worth of uh, the goodness in people all wrapped up in a few months. The van picks up the families from the host church and brings them back here to the day center. The families are either looking for a job or are going to work or looking for housing or childcare, whatever issues standing in the way for that family to be self-sufficient, they're taking care of it Monday through Friday, eight to five. And then on the weekends, this is their living space. This is where they do laundry. This is where they do showers. This is their home base during the daytime. And we want to be a holistic solution. I believe in Family Promise because I've seen the success stories. I've heard the success stories. I've had families come to me afterwards saying that it was a great service for them, it really helped them, it changed their lives. Going from homelessness to having a roof over our heads again, where, you know, it was safe, you know, nothing could have happened. It was, I felt no need to worry about what was going to happen next. Family Promise became that home, that family that I desperately needed and that I wanted Grady to be around. My hope for Family Promise of Irving is that we can get more churches involved and that we can continue our partnership with the community at large because we do work closely with other nonprofits, with the school district, with businesses, with churches. It's a, in a situation that affects everybody and we're all part of the solution. Mm -hmm.